The other one thing I'll mention, there's actually two, I think, actually. It, they both involve these panels here. Coming down the middle, there's a really big seam, and that doesn't exist on the uh, set itself. Uh, so I'm thinking about a couple ways to fill that over, and one of them was to take this masking tape. I actually ran my fingernail along here to get it in the groove, but there was no need to because it will sit really nice and uh, thin. In fact, let me uh, run a fresh piece here. I'm thinking this is quarter inch. It's almost exactly a perfect fit. And if I could get the exact color needed for the show, which is something of an orange because these uh, interior lines here actually light up. There's a bit of a flash going on in the show. Really slow uh, pulsation. So, yeah, that fits pretty well. So this is just running tape over there. Gives a really nice flat fit. It pretty much hides the seam completely. And uh, could be a really cheap way to uh, fix this up overall. Because if you have to run putty through this area, then that's just going to make it really tough. Because it's a really fine line to fill. And... Uh, there's no way you'd be able to sand it. You'd have to get it flat perfect the very first time you did it. And this gives a really nice solution overall. The other thing I did here is when I put the photo etch on this piece, I realized that all these get lit up, which means on the other side, you can't just run any fiber optic through the firewall, so I had to actually pull this piece apart. So I'm going to have to uh, hollow out. I made a mark there. So this is where the control panel is. So I'm basically just going to take the Dremel. I'll even... Uh, it's not quite set up right now for what I need it to be. Well, you know what? It'll only take a second. I got a cutting wheel on here right now. But all we really need is just a regular drill bit. And the way I'm expecting this to work... Kids, be really careful with power tools. That was just a really big surprise I got there. And I'm very lucky I didn't just hurt myself. Always do this with parental uh, people folks around. So now we've got a bit of a groove here. Be really careful that you don't cut through to the far side. You can probably see a little dark spot here, and that's this inner ridge there. And I definitely don't want to go past that. So that actually caused some damage there. So I'm going to have to finish this off just outside the camera. Good enough. So now we've got an indentation there which is just going to be perfect to run the fiber optics through here and out the back side of the wall. and that is going to run right into the main mass of wiring where the computer wall is. So that's going to be really convenient right there. And as the airlock door goes to the inside of that, we've got plenty of space. Now I said that uh, super glue is easier to pull apart, but nevertheless I still broke this tip off there. <clears throat> so I've got the tape holding it on right now. Once I've got the fiber optic in here, I'll glue the wall back together and then this will be a relatively easy fix just holding it really tight. It was a fairly clean break and the edges will line up really well. 
minor bit of sanding and all should be good on that so let's get this back on the floor and we'll get this back in here I'm probably going to leave this airlock door out because of I'm going to have a landed diagrama, kind of a crash landing basically. The, show, the uh, ship was usually crash landed on the show for most of uh, all three seasons. And they usually left either the outside door open or the inside and quite often they left both doors open. So I'm thinking uh, that's pretty much it for this for the moment. Next up we're going to be dealing with uh, getting some more of this work done on these back rooms here. I'll attach this floor down there. This is always going to stay loose I think until I figure out exactly what I want to do with it. Not going to start any wiring or lighting quite yet. I want to start getting some of this painted up. Uh, that'll definitely be one of the most next critical things. Figuring out the lighting at this stage is just to get an idea of where everything's going to go, how much could be needed, and uh, how all the wires are going to fit where they need to be. So we got a lot of space right here. Uh, even if all the wiring doesn't fit in this limited area, I can still run it all throughout underneath and just cram it in basically. There's a lot of room in this kit so I'm not worried about running out of space. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for this installment. Uh, let me talk about the lighting itself real quick. 